is to make sure that you have a trusted voice teacher or coach to really help guide you as to what's appropriate for your stage of development, for your voice type, for your age, and to make sure that you're choosing texts, poets, pieces that you relate to. It's always easier to sing and communicate when you really enjoy what you're singing about. However, there are also pieces that your teachers or coaches will assign to you that are essentially building blocks for your vocal technique, and you need those as well. So it's kind of a balancing act between perhaps some broccoli and some french fries, and hopefully you have a nice combination of music that you truly enjoy to sing. So let's talk about range. There's a difference between the range that you might warm up in when you're just vocalizing and a range that you're comfortable performing a song in. So for example, my range when I'm warming up on my own might be from this low A to like a high F. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I want to sing that range within one song or that I want to hang out on a low A or hang out on a high F. That simply means that's what I am using to kind of stretch out my vocal folds, keep myself flexible and in good shape in general. Let's also talk about tessitura. So there's a difference between range and tessitura. So again, the range is the extremes of perhaps what you can achieve when you're vocalizing. And the tessitura is where your voice sits. So whether you're a lyric baritone, a bass baritone, a lyric soprano, a mezzo soprano, perhaps a contralto, within those voice types are, are huge variations in terms of where a voice is comfortable sitting. So for example, I'm a coloratura soprano, and there are lots of different types of those. And some people want to sit up here all day, IF. Some people prefer to sit here, in this F. Some people are really comfortable on this F, right? So finding the piece that sits in a really comfortable range for you, that shows off what you can do, and you want to make sure that you're never feeling fatigued after you're singing a piece. So if you are, you have to look at that range in tessitura and ask yourself, is that appropriate? You also want to look at the accompaniment and make sure What's going on there? Can you project above what's going on in the piano or the orchestra? Is it a part that's always doubling you that's going to make it a little harder for your voice to cut through? If you have a large voice, is it a part that's going to really support you and make you feel that you can soar above it? Those are things to keep in mind and things you can talk about with your teacher or your coach. Let's also talk about languages. So if you're preparing to sing on the operatic stage or in the beautiful recital hall such as here at the Sheldon, you want to make sure that you're preparing a breadth of languages and stylistic periods. So traditionally that would mean pieces in Italian, in French, in German, and English, and then oftentimes also Spanish, perhaps Russian, or if there's another language that you speak that you're comfortable with, having that as well. Making sure that you have pieces as early as Rameau or Handel, and then as current as Previn or Jake Heggie or other contemporary composers. Let's talk about phrase length. So I'm gonna give you a little example here from Norina's aria, which is a piece I sing often, a role I sing. We wanna make sure also when we're first starting out that the phrases aren't too long and that our agility and ability to move our voices fit what we are singing. So I'll just sing you a little piece of this and then we'll discuss it briefly. So this comes in the middle of the aria. right in time and sing them all in one breath. 
So those, so those are some of the things you want to think about when you're starting to choose repertoire. In the beginning of your studies, you'll want to make sure everything is maybe two or three measures long, that you can sing everything within one phrase without a struggle, and then build up, work your way up so that you can sing all of those grand operatic arias and all the other repertoire that you're dying to sing. Rejoice, rejoice. 